Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get right, get right into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides message for Taurus as you know I like these cards to fall out naturally on their own it's how they connect with your energy message for Taurus please angels spirits guides thank you it flew out <laughs> earth energy so the queen of coins that could be you or the energy of okay Message for Taurus, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Taurus, thank you. What do we have? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay. Oh my goodness. I've got the answer, yes. And it's to do with this Queen of Coins. I mean, she is a card of success, um, nurturing, focus, patience, growth, abundance. I mean, she's a very lovely energy. Um, so this could be you, could be a person offering you something, energy of, but the, the message is yes. The message is yes there, Taurus. In fact, I'm going to clarify this Queen of Coins before we move forward. Let's clarify this Queen of Coins. Can we clarify this Queen of Coins, please, for Taurus? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Taurus, as we always do. First card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is your future outcome. Then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, as you always do. Okay, Message for Taurus, please, angels, spirits, guides, message for Taurus. So I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux. I'm using Angel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. Radiant Wise Spirit, which is this card. Oh, gosh. Right. So two cards on there. And uh, the Classic Rider Waite. Then Karen Walker's Fairy Oracle card. So we have the Queen of Wands, Taurus, with the Page of Cups in your challenge position. Advice from Spirit, we have the world. And the Fool. <laughs> These cards go beautifully together. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for our lovely Torians. Thank you. Message for Taurus. Thank you. Message for Taurus, thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table? 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021, please. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, we've got the Eight of Wands. Uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles here, Taurus. And the Fool. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Oh, my goodness. Queen of Wands. It feels like there's somebody of significance here. Definitely in this relationship could be an Aries or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who represents that kind of energy. I feel a significant person this week in your life. Um, you might have even been having conversations with them already. Feels like money and career here, Taurus. And I'm definitely seeing this queen of coins as you, male or female energy. Um, this is about putting your energy in the right direction, patience, perseverance. The Queen of Coins is a sign of success. And there's a message of you're so close here. Persevere to getting to standing in your own success. Um, she is methodical, patient, very, very patient, very, very focused. She absolutely stays on track. 
you know, it is that kind of track. She just stays focused. She doesn't deviate from the path. Um, in order to bring abundance, success, material success her way. And I see this as you holding the coin, holding the coin that somebody is offering you. And that could be job opportunities, career opportunities, you know, career financial opportunities, call it what you will. Uh, if there has been some concern over money, career finances, or you're looking to do some kind of career change, um, there's definitely an energy here, Taurus, of also maybe change jobs, for example. Uh, there's definitely an energy here, Taurus, of that happening for you, being on track. There, there may well be one obstacle to go. Um, sometimes there is just one thing to do. Now, that could be anything. And I, I kind of say this sometimes in my readings, you know, without going into the specifics, I mean, it could well be, you know, psych evaluations or could be to do with, um, you know, if if there's some movement that you have to do for the job or changes that you have to make, you know, it can be those kind of obstacles or maybe one more interview, one more meeting. I mean, call it what you will. It is an energy of, um, it's like there's one more thing to go. Or you're so close. It's like there's one more hurdle and then that's it. So that's what you're being told this week. That's what you're being told this week. Um, and then you're there. Because I'm definitely seeing this Queen of Wands holding that 10th one. The Nine of Wands is one less than the 10, which is a completion. And there's definitely energies in the cards. The cards are telling me that the completion is coming. Um, so yes, you will be successful. There is victory. Um, She's very good in terms of being a working parent, the Queen of Coins, providing financially as well. So again, any concerns about that? It definitely feels in this reading that you're absolutely on track to do that. There's definitely this energy. There's been some delays, you know. Um, it just feels for some of you there, you've not quite heard the news, you've not quite had that final meeting, you've not quite done the final thing that you need, you know, it, it feels like there's just delays. Um, it might well be for some of you, dates have been put back as well. But I definitely see the offer, the opportunity coming your way. It feels very beautiful. So don't doubt that. These energies are doubting it in the challenge position don't doubt yourself, don't doubt your own abilities. Um, there's definitely this energy of, you know, don't doubt your own uh, sense of self as well. Uh, this is definitely the energy of somebody who, um, it, it feels male or female energy, but it's Queen of Wands is bringing in some kind of opportunity for you. And even though there are delays, there are, there are conversations that are going to come your way. It just feels like there's been some delays here, setbacks for whatever reason, or one thing to do, you know, um, before the shift, the forward movement happens. Because the hard work will pay off. We have worldly success, goal achievement here. Um, what this worldly success means is it's a result of your hard work, um, overcoming tests, challenges. It's a sense of accomplishment. can also be about travel here as well. Some of you might be traveling or moving. Um, there could be some movement here, physical movement. Um, but there's definitely this energy here, Taurus, of success. This is a major arcana. It's a major success, a worldly success, an accomplishment. So very good in terms of money, career, business. It's victory. So just because there have been setbacks, don't lose heart. Don't lose hope. Um, don't doubt yourself or your own abilities or start kicking yourself. Oh, you know, in maybe if you've already met somebody, oh, I should have said this or I should have done that. Maybe that's why I haven't heard anything. You know, it's not it's not that. I think it's just the fact that there have been some setbacks, delays, or maybe there's just one little thing to overcome either on your part or their part before things start shifting. But it will be overcome. There is completion here, victory, success, winning. Um, and it's as a result of your achievement. Now, some of you might be competing for apprenticeships and internships. If so, there, there's going to be victory there. 
Um, this can also be a card of what you've been working towards. There's goal achievement. Love it. Absolutely love those cards. Because then we have the person that you didn't hear back from, the message to do with the opportunity and taking that leap of faith to a new chapter, a new beginning. So I definitely feel for some of you, there's the offer, the opportunity, the news that you've been waiting for to do with some kind of career, financial, money opportunity. Uh, again, the Page of Pentacles is the beginnings of setting yourself up for long-term growth, you know? But it feels like it's news. The pages are messengers. So message to do with news and um, information to do with the opportunity that you've been waiting for. And again, a major new beginning. So where there has been an ending, you are stepping through to a new phase of your life. And we have the new beginning here. Going for it. Being ready to jump straight in. You know? Um, it feels very beautiful and optimistic. So the message is yes, if you're doubting that it's going to come, it's coming. Um, certainly in this reading, it's coming. It feels very beautiful and the cards seem very, very clear. There's somebody of significance here. Let's talk about this Queen of Wands before I pull the final card. Uh, somebody who is magnetic, somebody who you would just naturally want to work with or work for um, because she is an inspiration. She is confident. Um, out of the box thinking in some respects, very original in thought, um, a great leader, very intuitive. She, she takes calculated um, decisions, risks based on her own judgment and instinct. You know, she feels her way through to success in terms of her actions and abilities, you know, by trusting her instinct. And you can see the sunflower, which represents abundance, very, very successful. Somebody who takes action, um, a leader, again, very social, confident, uh, magnetic as well, um, has some kind of aura. Uh, around them so male or female energy but it feels that you'll be meeting somebody of significance here Taurus and again the page of pentacles is just holding the coin that I definitely see you holding you know in this reading as the overarching energy there's just one thing to go this week I think there's one hurdle to go and then there's success okay so final message for Taurus, okay. I have go outside, it's time to go outside, tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. I mean, that's earth energy, isn't it? Because, you know, going outside is very much connected to your element, earth energy. Uh, so yeah, ground yourself, just stay focused, do what you do best. That is that queen of coins energy and be patient. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.